G'day and welcome back to my channel. Now I thought I'd show you something that I finished a few months ago because I've been crook in bed lately, haven't got much done, as you know, there's so much going on. I'm even moving a house again, but that's another story. Talk to you about that in another video. Anyhow, this Star Wars kit, this X-Wing, right? Resistance, X-Wing Fighter, The Force Awakens, right? Okay. It's a bandit, right? a bandai. So it's a click together kit, but don't let that put you off. These things come together beautifully. Now I started this quite a while ago, a couple of years ago, and I'll show you the build sequence in a sec. But um, let's see what you get. You've never seen inside one of these, okay? The, um, the booklet is always beautiful. It's very shiny, so it's very reflective on camera. It's a lot of Nipponese, right? Okay, you can have to cope with that. Everything's Nipponese. You get, um, let's see if it'll focus on that, a colour sprue map. Could you not? Look at that. A colourised sprue map. <laughs> and as you can see, the sprues are actually in coloured plastic. I'll show you more of that later. Because it's quite ingenious that in one sprue they'll have all these different areas already coloured. Uh, in theory, with their stickers, you can just build this kit out of the box. You don't even have to paint instructions are all coloured, very easy to follow, there's there's no English but you just follow the, the, the fixed rolls, They're, um, they all make sense, it's really not that hard to do, you just follow what they're doing. Black and white on the back, there's quite a few steps, this one's quite involved. I did make a, um, a little, I said it was 1 to 144 scale, um, which is what I guess, this is 172nd here. Yeah. I did make another one, I did a video about it, this tiny little one that I built one um, Star Wars day. Um, you know, May the 5th, <laughs> May the 4th, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you, yes, that's the joke, May the 4th be with you, and I built a tiny little, um, tiny little one, it was beautifully detailed, in fact, it, it's exactly the same as this, but shrunk, but it has all the same moulding, it's incredible, but this is the real deal, and this one has lots of detail, and tons and tons and tons of either decals, decals, Dick Alls, whatever you want to call them, water slide transfers or stickers. You can go either way. You also get options with the canopy. There's a full um, clear canopy. There's also, if you want to cheat, there's just a canopy you put over. It's got holes in it so you can see your pilot. You've got um, undercarriage up, undercarriage down, you know, hot and cold running band eyes, everything. Yes, it's all there. So there it all is. You get a little bit of English in here, just basically telling you marking colour guide. But basically, it, it's pretty easy to figure it out and follow. You don't really need instructions there in, in Anglais to um, to know what's going on. Um, they're not hard to build. And saying they fall together, well, they don't. They click together. They click together. So you can't just put glue in the box and shake it like Tamiya. You actually have to physically do something. But the parts fit and the parts click and away you go. Now... As I said, you get options. You get, uh, which one's which? Decals, stickers. Now, an interesting thing with the stickers is um, the canopy stickers, well, they're not there on mine, because I use them as masks. So I actually went the clear canopy route, and I used the stickers, um, not the bit that you'd put on the canopy, but the bit you'd peel off. So, you know, the, um, the inside bit. Okay, So I use that. You could have put decals on and turn your canopy up that way but I didn't I wanted to spray it so I actually use the stickers as a mask and that's a good little trick I also use the stickers to do some of the um the tiny little robot whatever his name is it's not it's not a c3po but so it's whatever webby you know 246 whatever his name is you know what I mean it's just this little guy with these little little things right whoever he is um yeah I did I used the stickers because he was so tiny it was easy to do um I can show you that. Oh, I'm offering on here and I'm trying to explain things. Let's have, a, let's have a look at that. So this is what I'm on about. I actually used the stickers on him because it was easier to get them on than trying to do um, to do decals. And the canopy, or my canopy, is the clear one. And I've masked it using, oops, using the stickers. And it came out fine. It's good. I've done the whole interior, everything. Now, I decided not to use the stickers or water side transfers for the wings, right? for all the markings, all the blue. Um, I'd hoped to pull the whole thing to bits once I built it, and then I was going to paint all these parts, you know, airbrush them. But once I'd actually put it together, it proved impossible to get apart again. Um, some parts would come off, but not all. So I ended up having to compromise, and I thought, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, and as I'll show you shortly, I actually managed to mix up the colour that was a match for the... Um, decals and stickers and I hand painted all this in 
and although this stripe here and that bit there actually is a bit of blue plastic other parts weren't blue and I had to hand paint them and I painted them in insignias everything did all that then I covered it all with bloody um, dirt <laughs> I did a bit of um, you know space streaking <laughs> well these things come down in the atmosphere so they get a bit sort of grubby so I had a look at some photos and of, of what they'd actually done in the movie and I chipped it it's actually quite heavily chipped but you can't quite see it it's, it's so small but there's lots of chips there's lots of things going on I mean it's 170 second scale which is a, is a small scale for aircraft and although this kit's quite you know it's a handful it's quite a good size lovely kit to build had a lot of fun with it really enjoyed painting it um, I did glue some of the parts because although it is click fit as you can see some of the parts were all sort of click loose but I didn't worry about gluing in the canopy because I wanted it left open for when I want to show off that interior because I actually did a lot of work in there dry brushing and all kinds of stuff and I painted up the pilot and I don't normally do figures so um, yeah easy as that click 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 all right well uh, I'll show you a bit more of the, the stuff in here. Yes, yeah, so I was just going to jump forward to the, the build sequence. No, let's have a look at the box. All right, so as I said, th there's nothing on these because I've built it right, but basically, you know, you get a brown spill and they're already brown bits. So this actually was the stand. Um, I've got here, I kept aside, these aren't in the kit, but I kept aside the um, alternate parts. Like there's the canopy you can use. If you, you don't want a mask and you don't want to paint, you just put that on. And it doesn't look too bad, I'll show you interchangeable here's one I did before so if you like you can just pop that on there okay and then you can see inside and you can see your, your guy and it's all and really unless somebody tells you otherwise who know so that's not too bad but um, I wanted to do you know a bit of proper modeling <laughs> as proper as my modeling gets so I use that one so there you go uh, there's other there was another figure in here I didn't use it Everything comes, all the all the spurs come in separate bags from memory. And as I say, it's um, you know, you've got clear red sprue, white sprue, blue sprue, all on the same moulding, you know, all on the same tree. And so that's that's pretty bloody clever. And the tolerances in the fit is really good. I mean look at this one here, you've got clear sprue as well, all on the same, all on the same tree. Very clever, very clever kits. You you do this was you know pretty full and had all the parts in. This box was pretty darn full. So you um, you do get your value for money. Can't remember quite what I paid for it. It wasn't a lot. It might have been like you know, four shekels delivered in my money. Okay, shekel conversion chart. Wasn't a lot of money. Uh, but it was barrels of fun. It really was. I started at one rainy sort of Sunday afternoon, just something to do as so I clicking it together. And then as you can see, it was a bit of a break. And then I got into earnest with it, painting the um, blue parts between the weathering. I put it in competition. I mean, you, you really, unless you have gone berserk on these, you don't win in competition. But I got a third. There you go. How about that? All right, well, here's a build sequence of photos showing the process I went through, just to give you an idea of how this kit goes together. And here's the start of the kit. And as you can see, the coloured plastic. That's just brilliant the way they do that. With the sprues got all different colours. Look, it just clicked together. It wasn't really a, a hard kit to build, but I had fun with the interior there. I, I did some dry brushing and I used some of the um, some of the stickers in there, but I picked out detail in other parts and I painted up the pilot. I mean, I'm not the best figure painter in the world, but I had a go at it. I got the basic colours on and I even put his decals on him later on. The, um, the kit is so much fun. I, I cannot sort of say that enough really. Uh, there's that blue plastic bit that I put in that I thought I could pull out later but as it turned out no. Once you get that blue bit in it ain't coming out ever again. So if you want to paint it paint that before it goes in there. In fact like with a lot of kits you know paint your parts before you actually assemble. So there she is. Well it's not exactly the best photo of that one is it? There, there's, a, there's a bandai in there somewhere but um, it looked pretty nice just even before I started painting it. Uh, pretty happy with everything. You know, there it is. Oh that's the stand. That's the stand which was on that um, baby shit yellow um, sprue. And I sort of thought about putting it on the stand, but I went, nah, look, I'm going to put it on its feet. And this is where I made the decision. What am I going to do? I'm going to paint. I'm going to put stickers on. What am I going to do? There's the blue stripe. How am I going to cope with this? And I decided I'll go with the legs. I'll go with the wing, wings flat and I will paint the blue. So that's what I did. And I started doing that quite some time ago. And um, that was starting to look really good. But I needed to get the insignia detail because it's sort of on the wings they have a little bit of stripiness 
and they need to go on. I've debated as to whether to use the decals because I had matched them up. And I know, bugger it, I will mask it. And I'm glad I did. I masked it and I very carefully brushed in the paint and the result is terrific. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with how they turned out. So that was it. And then it was quite a break until I moved house. And then it was, you know, months later, I thought, gee, uh, I need something in competition. I thought, oh, that X-Wing is nearly finished. All it needs is grubbing up. So <laughs> I got out the brushes and I made it filthy. So there you have it. All finished, all done, all completed, and I'm pretty happy with it. I decided to go with it on its legs and with its wings actually flat, which is unusual because most people, you know, want to spread the wings. I can still do that. I mean, this beauty of this thing, it's you can still play with it. It's a toy. So, you know, I can I can go the full spreader. Yeah, so we can do a spreader on this one. So, you know, it's still capable of doing that and having that lovely look. And I've got the stand floating around here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Packed it somewhere. So, um, it's it's a lovely kit. And they're not, they're not super expensive. Uh, it depends where you got them from. I think I bought this one from a shop in Japan. It might have been like Japan Plaza or Hobby Plaza or something in Japan. Something like that. And um, delivered to Australia. Didn't take long. Uh, you know, pretty happy with the whole deal. So the Bandit, <laughs> the Bandai X-Wing in 172nd. Lovely kit. Barrels are fun, you know. You you can just, you can play with it for the rest of your life. Um, and that canopy, of course, still pops open. Oh, well, make a lot out of me. Oh, there you go. Um, yes. It's always worked so much better in reversal. <laughs> so I can show off the interior with my pilot. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with this kit. Um, really was a joy to build, as I said. So I've repeated myself at least 10 times. Well, it looks like someone's banging a car outside. So let's cut to the montage. And I'll say goodbye from Australia. And it's Huru from Harry Houdini.